Long ago, the hares lived in the tree. They loved the trees, but sometimes the young bears would wander off into the high branches. They would wander higher and higher until one of them finally fell. When he hit the ground, men found that bears were good to eat, so they hunted bears, especially the bear cubs, because they tasted so good. <laughs> All right, JT, we're gonna go bear hunting today. Are you ready? Yes, sir. You know what a cub is? No. A cub is a little bitty baby bear. Yes, sir. It's gonna have nice big round eyes, a cute little nose, a cute little bear nose, and he'll be smiling and happy. And we like these, these little cubs. You know why? Why? Because they taste good. We want to get one that tastes good. Let's go get one. And we'll eat it for dinner tonight. You want to eat a bear? Yes! Alright, JT, you ready to go get some bears? Yes! Alright, let's go do this. Yeah! Alright, JT and I are going to go on a hike and then we're going to do a little bear hunting. Well, here we go. So, what we got to do is we got to be real quiet. We're going to set up our trap. Are you ready? Yes. All right. So I'm gonna, I want to step. You step where I step. Here we go. Here we go. This will be a good place to set our bait to catch our bear. All right, so this is where we're gonna do our trap. There's been some animals that have been in here. So this will be a good place to lay down our bait. Clean it off a little bit. Not using our machete. Put it down. Come up in here. Every bear in the world, when they poop, their poop looks like a honey bun but what they love the most to eat honey bun remember this is like bear poop yeah. smell it up smell it yeah. all right so we got our bungee through our honey bun there and when he pulls on that this will sling up in the air our baby bear will choke to death oh look some bear poop jt don't step in the bear poop JT, look, bear poop, bear poop. Oh, you stepped in the bear poop. Oh, ah, it's on my hands. Yeah. All right, bear poop. Woo wee. It's everywhere. What are we gonna do? Let's get out of here. JT, you think we went down there? Maybe a baby bear. Might be a baby bear. I'll come out of our that and go get the honey bun. Is that what you think? All right, so we've been hiking for a couple hours. We've been walking for a long time. Go ahead and go potty. Ooh, JT, you gotta go potty bad, don't you? <laughs> Ooh, JT, excuse you. Let's take us a break right here. What is that? Air poop. It's your first ever honey bun. Open it up, get you a bite. Honey bun. Honey bun. Honey bun. Honey bun. Smell it. Smells really good. It smells pretty good. What does it smell like? A maple donut. It smells more like a donut. I smell a lot of sugar. <laughs> Wait, let's go ahead and try it. All right. That's actually pretty good. Chocolate milk. Yeah. <laughs> Honey bun, chocolate milk. Would you like the first drink? Yeah. Best bear poop I ever have. Mmm. Titi, -ti. yeah. you hear that? What is that? Cars. Cars? Oh my goodness, there's cars. All right, JT. So we got our bear trap set. Yep. Let's go catch a little fish while we're waiting. What do you think? Yeah. Give me a fist bump. Let's go get a fish. Yeah. Go, yeah. 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 All right, so we're underneath a, a bridge right now. We are looking at maybe a two, three pound smallmouth bass, and I've got a jig that bounces off the bottom been trying to catch this bass for about a year now I'm, i see him right now you can see them they can see you and we'll try to get him hooked up that would be fun and really cool 
it's in its mouth. Look at that fish we just caught right there. Yes, beautiful fish. Hold on, let me get the hook out of his mouth. Here, you hold the camera. Yeah, we got Come a fish daddy for a today. Second. Come, and daddy. Come, daddy. And I Point it at daddy. There you go. Now back it up a little bit. Let me get this out. And when, and I want you to put it in my net, and I will let go. Okay. There he goes. Go ahead, JT. Put him in the water. Tease him in there. Good job. We caught the <laughs> fish. When he saw us. Yes, good job. <laughs> Woo, the Ned rig. You gotta believe in the Ned rig. That thing worked really well. I sat it on the bottom and I was just tapping it away. And that thing just went on down there and took a bite out of it. Woo, let's see if we can get another one. Good job. The Brim's got our bait. We got it. Oh, we had one. <laughs> you see that? It looks like a big old plop of poop. Yes. That's a martin nest. So oh. the martin, since this is a brand new bridge, the martins eventually will have this entire bridge underneath here full of those nests. And what some martins do is they eat all the mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, so do you like martins? Mm -hmm. Yeah, martins are really good. You need to have martins around as they get rid of those mosquitoes. That's right. All right, JT and I, we are finished fishing. We had a good time with the Ned rig catching a bass on that thing and hooking up some others. They were just too small for the hook. And we're gonna go check and see if we got a bear. Are you ready to go check the trap? Yes. Fist bump. Boom, let's go see what we got. Yeah! We got something. JT, look. We got a bear. Yeah. We got a bear. Yes. Look at that. It's a baby cub bear, just like we wanted. Are you excited? Yeah. Yes. You ready to take it home and eat it? Mm -hmm. All right. He's going to be good eating right there. Look, he's only got one eyeball. Yeah. Yes. That means that who gets the eyeball to eat it? You going to eat the eyeball or me? No one is going to eat the eyeballs. Nobody's eating eyeballs? Oh, man, look at that. Choked him to death right there. Good job. That's a good trap. Woo-wee. And it easily left some of the honey bun. Left some of the honey bun? You can eat the rest of it if you want. No. <laughs> Take a selfie with it. Yeah. Look at the camera. Hold it down so it doesn't get in front of your face. Hold, hold the kit, the bear down. There we go. And we got a. We got the bear. What are you doing back there, JT? Good. Yeah. Still here? Yes. Did you learn anything today about I catching bears? Yes. Honey buns, yeah. All right, so we've had a good time. We trapped our bear, and now it's time to skin our bear. We're gonna use a uh, skinning knife. This one's called the Akoe River Skinning Knife here. And we're gonna use that. It's a very beautiful knife. It uh, hasn't been used for a lot of things. Look at that beautiful blade. Yes, very, very nice. All right, so when you're skinning the bear, first thing you wanna do is you wanna gut it. We'll start over here at the tail end and work our way up the stomach. Now you want to make sure that you do not puncture the intestines. And as we work our way up to the rib cage, yes, you can begin to pull out some things that are very edible. Let's see here. All right. Let's pull out a little bit of this right here. Is that good? Yes. Next things we can pull out, yes, as we work a little bit further up, is the bear. The bear has hearts. Yeah. You go. Get smile and stuff. And you can also pull out this little bit right here. And does that look good? Yeah. The There's bear. More. The bear isn't bad, but it's really good.
So you like that bear? What's your favorite part? The hearts or the lungs or the liver? What do you like the best? All of it. Looks like you're really enjoying it. Yes, what's your what's it taste like? It tastes just like bear meat steak. Bear meat steak. We're gonna have some steak later on. We'll grill some of this up later on. Does that sound good? All right. All right, so we have our bear steaks right here. Yes, isn't that beautiful? Yes. So we're gonna marinate them in some bell seasoning. Yeah. <laughs> got mama here, she's got some jalapeno peppers. And they've got her coughing and stuff like that. And she's stuffing them with cream cheese and cheddar cheese. Oh yeah, it's gonna be amazing. It tastes good with our bear. All right, we'll get back to you when we put things on the grill. All right, all right. Next big thing is gonna be a part of our bear cub meal is clams. Yes, yeah, some fresh caught clams. Yes, I'll let you see them popped open on the grill. We got some clams. Yeah, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna go get the meat. Look at them up there cooking. All right, so we got our bear cub meat right here. Now, one of the things you want to do, if you have issues with your meat sticking, take you some, uh, some cooking spray, some olive oil cooking spray, and just spray it straight on your meat. It won't hurt it at all. It'll cause the flame up a little bit down there in the middle. So what I like to do is, if I got a three burner grill, I cut the middle off. And then I take my meat, I'm gonna slam it down there. Bam, and that's not gonna, look at that flame up. That's not gonna stick. Let's close it down. We'll wait about a minute. Let that side just sear away. Oh yeah. We're gonna throw more of that olive oil on there. Keep it from sticking. Watch how easy this is gonna pick up. Whoop. And sear that side. Look at them grill marks. That's beautiful. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Gotta love that and the clams. Now we're just gonna let it sit in here for a little while and cook until it's right at medium. Yeah. I can get in here, check out our clams. They're starting to pop open. I like to get them cooked right at about seven minutes. I got one left to pop open. These cracked open just a little bit. Yeah. All right, we're gonna pull them out of there. All right, so we got the clams right there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna smother them in some garlic butter, yeah. Let's make a nice little appetizer. All right, let's get back here on the meat. Check it out. Ooh, that's getting close. This one is, that one's got a little bit longer to go. I'm gonna flip it over one more time. I typically don't like using a fork. That's all I got right now. That's gonna be a good bear cub right there, JT. Yeah. Look at there. Eat it. It's really good. Good me, all right. Good job, good job. I'm glad I brought these. That, that one is done. Let's see what I got for you. That's a bear cub. You yeah. want it now? Yeah. Get your bear cub. Oh, it's so hot. It's hot? All right, I'll eat it up. Little gamey taste, but man, that Dell's made it that much better. Good stuff. Got a battery. Look at the camera, tell me what you think. I like it. You like it, Sardi? You like it too? You want to eat it too? All right, so we're all gonna try the bear meat. Everybody tell us what, what they think about it. All right, Beth, go ahead, you go first. It's good meat. Yeah. Like chicken. Tastes like chicken. Oh, you like that bear meat? You popped it in there already. Here goes, my turn. All right, y'all, we've had a good time here. Uh, it, and it tastes like steak. Tastes like steak. Probably <laughs> we had a good time with this. If you like their stuff, 
comment, like, subscribe. Here's some peppers. Check that out. Our onions. We have us a fine meal. We're gonna go eat with our family, and y'all have a fabulous day. Talk to you later on. Bye. Bye. All right, I got a secret that nobody knows. The best way to end a bear cub meal is with some bear claw desserts. Here we go. Fresh, homemade bear claws, right? <laughs> bear claws! Oh, dude. That smell good? Mm, yes. All right, we're out of here. We're gonna enjoy our bear claws. Let's see.